allow me to make my choice. I know what I want. Okay, that's. This is my life, we are talking about, and this is my happiness, we are talking about, I need someone that will be right. mine forever, someone that will be mine so. so, when will my dress be ready? Uh, let's say in, uh, in a month. It's a quick thing. <laughs> Which month? What was that you said? What is that? <laughs> okay. The thing is, see, I have so many ones on my hand right now this season, so that's why. Three weeks. I'm giving you three weeks. Three weeks is not bad, but I'll see what I can do. Please, oh. Please, oh. I'm here, I'll try. Bye. 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 Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 I'm fine, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Is you on work? Yes. Hmm? Do you ever have time for yourself? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> have you had lunch? No. You see, you can't even remember. <laughs> You've been working all day. What was the time now? And you've not had lunch. See, well, I'm, I'm here for us to do lunch together. The thing is, I have so many works on my hands, so I'll pass. You'll pass? Yes, I'm very busy. You're very busy that you can you can spend a, an hour of your time for, for a friend. Huh? Please, an hour. Okay, fine. You win. Really? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kleptomaniacs experience tension before stealing, followed by a period of relief or gratification. However, many of the victims often feel guilty or remorseful after their action, wanting to hide or return most of the stolen items. But those therapies and lifestyle changes I discussed earlier can help a kleptomaniac manage the symptoms. So what are likely the signs of kleptomania? Your Majesty, the most prevalent and obvious sign of kleptomania is for the victim to always steal unnecessary items. They always steal things they don't need. And on doing that, they regret most of the times. Hmm. Your Majesty, a person with kleptomania will continue stealing despite the warnings, repercussions, or threats that she must have gotten. Hmm. Welcome. Thank you. So look around. Do you like this place? The place is nice. Really? Yeah, I like the fact that it's a serene environment. It's really calm and quiet. <laughs> Good. So, what would you like to eat? Um, what do they have? Okay, the... They have continental ditches and it's very nice. Uh, Stephanie! Steph! Uh, come, come. Here's my knee. Okay, we have. Donna Jerov, Chinese rice, European turkey. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll just do I'll just do this. Something really light. 
Okay, ma'am. First of all, thank yes, you. Yes, sir. Um. Uh, so you're a regular customer here. I mean, you already know the names of the workers. The names of the worker? Oh, they're actually my workers. I don't understand. Okay, uh, I own this place. Yes. Las Vegas Hotel and Suits. Um, this is actually one of them. <laughs> really? I mean, you didn't tell me. Same as you don't know me. Huh? I guess. <laughs> oh, okay. No, it's not your fault. Because I I based on road. Huh? United Kingdom precisely. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just came home to do some touches, you know, fix things and fly back to to the States. I see. <laughs> um Okay. Michael Doctor. Can you tell us the causes of crippling? My friend. There are different possible causes of crippling Michael. Number one is low serotonin levels, stress. Addiction, learned habits, family history of mental problems, personal history of mental problems. These are the major causes of creativity. So, um, tell me about yourself. <laughs> There's nothing really special about me to talk about. Mm. Well, you can actually start from telling me about your family, where you're from, and the reason for this pains in your eyes. I feel so confused and out of place. Out of place? I want to hear all. Hmm? Tell me about it. <laughs> More ears. My name is Eve. Getting Kawa over there for now. I'm a graduate of um, physics. But my love for fashion is the reason I'm into fashion designing. <laughs> I mean, my mother is also a fashion designer. So. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the first child of the family of seven. We have um, three girls and two boys. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. <laughs> yeah? Yes. <laughs> yeah, <nah>. <laughs> Wonderful. So, I met this guy in school, Oscar. That's his name. We um, both graduated with an um, upper class in physics. So you guys were classmates? I don't know. Okay. We, we were in the same department, but he was two years ahead of me. Yeah. Numerous complications are associated <laughs> to being addicted to stealing. Cryptomania can affect one's well-being, including your emotional life, professionally, and also it will affect 
your day-to-day -day well being. Untreated kleptomania may worsen the symptoms of other conditions like depression, low self-esteem, and others. There are other things associated with this mental disorder which time will not permit me to go through. Mm. Oscar graduated before me anyways. And um, before he left for NYC, he engaged me. Okay. Oscar has been the only man I have ever known. He took my virginity. Sometime last year, his friend that was squatting with him was murdered in cold blood. He came back home to see his friend with a scissors tucked to his chest and some used condoms. Then he raised them around. Really? Could it be the guy was murdered by by his sex partner? I think so. Oh. Because his neighbor said he used to bring in prostitutes when Oscar is not around. And make sure she didn't lack anything. Be it clothes. Uh, Oscar was arrested for murder. Even though he pleaded his innocence, the police refused to grant him bail. Oscar was charged to court. For eight months, he was paraded and persecuted. Oh, it's okay. I took care of his mother and made sure she didn't lack anything. Be it food or clothing. Oh, hold on. It was obvious Oscar was going to go to jail for what he knew nothing about. <sighs> and then the judge told me that if truly Oscar makes the word to me, I had to pay through my nose. What? So, what did you do then? I was neck bent into that relationship. That I did the unspeakable. I sold my father's only piece of land to make sure Oscar doesn't go to jail. You did what? That singular act killed my father. Oh! He slumped and died instantly on hearing that I saw this only inheritance. Open to you now. My mother and my siblings have not forgiven me. They don't even speak to me. It's fine. Don't worry. Okay. Dr. Morris. I want to thank you immensely for the insights. I appreciate 
Yeah. Doctor, um, it's been a productive conversation we've had. We have spent so much time learning from you. And I'm grateful that uh, there's a solution. Yes. However, we have to commence treatment. Yes, my prince. The treatment has to commence with her. Zina, you heard all I've said. Whenever the urge comes for you to steal, you take a deep breath. And when it becomes painful, you relieve yourself. The urge will go away. Doctor, please tell me, for how long will I continue like this? For as long as it lasts. You see, Your Majesty, Zina here has to be treated with utmost love. Someone with kleptomania does not have to be treated like outcast. She's just a victim of circumstance, Your Majesty. Noted. Your Majesty, I bet you take my leave. Zena, I'll be inside. Zena, I totally understand how you feel. But it's okay. You can't keep feeling this way. There's a solution. The doctor said once treatment is commenced, you're going to be fine again. Right? Everything is going to be fine. Right? Yes. It's okay. Even though he pleaded his innocence, the police refused to grant him bail. Oscar was charged to the court. For eight months, he was paraded and persecuted. It's okay. I took care of his mother and made sure she didn't lack anything. Eat food or clothing. Oh, it was obvious Oscar was going to go to jail for what he knew nothing about. <sighs> and then the judge told me that if truly Oscar makes the word to me, I had to pay through my nose. What? So, what did you do then? I was neck bent into that relationship. That I did your speakable. Right, sorry. I sold my father's only piece of land to make sure Oscar doesn't go to jail. You did what? That singular act killed my father. Oh! He slumped and died instantly on hearing that I sold his only inheritance. Oh. Up until now, my mother and my siblings have not forgiven me. They don't even speak to me. That's fine. Don't worry. Okay. 
Что-то фу. Зина. Yes, your majesty. With all sincerity, we apologize for being irrational to you all the while. I bear no grudge against the real family. Well, that's fine. As for your father that was retrenched, based on my instructions, I want to tell you that um, he will be called back to office. Oh, thank you so much, oh, Your no, Majesty. No, no. Thank you. That will be necessary. Please sit up. Excuse me for a moment. Yes, I am calling in respect to Mr. Clement Honora that was retrenched a while ago because of my instructions. I want him to be called back to office as soon as possible. Please facilitate his coming back. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. Thank you. All right. Uh, Obin, are we upstairs? Excuse me. Take your time, All right. You good? Yes, I am. I apologize on their behalf. Forgive them. Come on, I heard nothing against them. Believe me. That's good to know. You heard what the doctor said? <sighs> yes, I did. You're going to be fine in no time. Hopefully. I mean, thank you so much for loving me, unconditionally, even when I don't deserve your love. My heart belongs to you. And I tell people that love is the true meaning of life. Life is nothing without love. So I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much for loving me. Okay. Mm. So I will start from taking you to the village. What for? You know, Eve, first of all, you, you need to make peace with your family. After then, you go to your, to your father's grave and ask for forgiveness. You think I haven't tried? I've tried countless times. I've tried to, 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 to go to them, to even to tell them I'm sorry, but they would not even let me to the compound. All right, this time around, I'm going with you. What do you think? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You are welcome. Right? So, it's your fault. Uh, I'm fine. I think I lost my appetite already. Oh. Okay, I need to go back to the shop. They're calling me. Oh, okay. Yes. Let's run. Um, where are they? I caught you again. You're stealing glances at me. Oh. But it's not wrong if I... if I admire a very beautiful woman. You know, I will... brag about you to my friends and I will tell them that I have a beautiful <laughs> sister. A fashion designer for that matter. Okay. <laughs> you know, anybody that sees you would know that you're into fashion. Of course, I'm a fashion designer. <laughs> wow. 
you know, I'm happy that I, I am finally cracking your ribs and make you smile. I mean, it's crazy. I'm actually very happy that I'm smiling again. I mean, you need to like, <laughs> Marry me and be the mother of my kids. What What did you say? Please. Uh, Andre, we just went. I know. But I fell in love with you the very moment I set my eyes on you. There is no way I am going to hurt you or do you wrong. Um, All right. See, I haven't healed from my last heartbreak. <laughs> this will work. Please. Marry me and make me the most happiest man on earth. Sorry, I'll, I'll think about it. It's okay. You don't want to. It's all right. It's fine. It's fine. You don't want to make up to make me breakfast to eat before going to work. Every day I have to remind you that you need to make me breakfast. How can a man do one be sleeping by this time of the day? Past eight! And you know your husband is going to work! What kind of life is this? Hey? Mama, what have you got to me into? Is this the wife you told me that you wanted me to marry? Oh God! My Eve can never be this kind of woman. The Eve I would have married would have been a woman that would wake up every morning to make sure that I ate something. As a matter of fact, the Eve that I know would beg me to ensure that I eat something before I go to work. But here, every day I wake up before you in the morning, I have to remind you to make me something to eat to go to work. This is just a few months into my marriage and I'm facing this kind of thing. God, what have I done? Mama, I wish you can come and see the kind of woman you have. You have pushed me in to marry. Alright! Continue sleeping! Let me go to the kitchen and fix myself something to eat before going to work. After all, I have a wife that I provide for. Hey, Mama. No, I don't need anything. I just came to assist you in cooking. Okay, but I don't need any assistance. Please, let me assist you. I mean, I've been idle doing nothing. I just want to do something. Listen, I am the cook here. And my job is to cook and serve the royal family. And not the other way around. And you think I don't know all of that? I know, but I insist. Let me do the cooking, please. Okay, if you insist. Thank you very much. Alright, so you're done with the peppers? Okay, she start from the pot. How do you turn on the water?
brought one fork. Where is my own? Which responsible married woman will be on the bed whilst her husband prepares for work? And she wouldn't go to the kitchen to fix him something. Yes, on the bed doing nothing. Finally, the almighty Oscar went to the kitchen, made some noodles and two boiled eggs. Did your hand cut? Hmm? As far as I'm concerned, kitchen is not made for women alone. You are such a huge disappointment. Thank you. Well, I just hope there's still some food for me because yes. if I'm hungry, I will definitely eat this food. Of course. There is food in the kitchen for you, but that food must be the one you made yourself. Oscar, I am aware I did not make breakfast for you this morning. But you did, and I'm entitled to eat. Well, you're entitled to eat, that's true. But that has to be food you made yourself. Come to think of that, what else do you do in this house? You wake up in the morning, all you do is you sit down on the bed, grab your phone and spend hours and hours. Oh, that reminds me, the phone is with me. You will not see that phone again. Before you end up finding a woman that you end up practicing the apex of demonic affair with, lesbianism, all in the name of feminism. Oscar, before you leave this house, make sure you drop my phone. Did you hear me? If I want to leave this house, try stopping me. Oscar! Make sure you drop my phone before leaving this house. Else you will see the other side of me. And I bet you you won't like it. We shall see. Oscar, you give me my phone. You, you, for this food. you will not eat this food. You will not I will eat not, this food. I will not eat it, right? You won't eat it either. My patients, you are very lucky. <laughs> Oma, can you please not call me princess? But why? You will soon become the princess of this great kingdom. You shall make a good queen. Really? Yes. Until then, just call me by my name, Zina, please. All right. In that case, let me go and set up the dining. Okay, please do. Keep me that. I'll be fine, Omar. I'm fine. Um, okay, let, let me dish the food. Then. Yes, just dish the food. Your Majesty. Where is Zina? She's in the kitchen. The kitchen? Hey. Kindly get her, okay? Um, I'm sorry, my prince. The princess is not feeling fine. Oh, just shut up. Uh, Are you the one that made her the princess of this kingdom? She What, Your Majesty? I'm here. Sorry, Mom. Sorry. I'll go get her. Let's 
Hey, uh, are you okay? Sit down. Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oma, what happened? I have no idea, my prince. When she was done cooking, I left to set up the dining. When I went back, I I noticed something that seemed like a seizure. I she was holding her breath. She heard it for so long before I started calling on her attention. You mean she's the one that prepared this Olubu soup? Yes, Your Highness. Oh. Are you for real? Oh, she's a good cook. She Thief. Is. Uh oh. She's a thief. Hey, you want to have some of this? Just a little, okay? You okay? Want some food? Thank you, I'm fine. I don't know why my wife is still kicking against Mother Buddha's decision to marry Zina. We all know what that young girl is passing through. Dr. Morris has placed her on medication. All we need to do is just to encourage the young girl, pray for her until she heals. I need to talk to my wife about this so seriously. She needs encouragement. Mama, the wife you found for me has killed me. There is nothing good about the woman you found for me. The woman you compelled me to marry. Oh, yeah, is a good girl for me, good family. That's why I recommended that for you. Mama, the girl in question, there's nothing good about that girl. Mama, do you know the kind of wife you made me to marry? What has Mama, you don't know that girl. Mama, do you know that I would wake up every morning to prepare for work? My wife, who is supposed to prepare what I'll eat before I go yeah. to work, would yeah. be busy sleeping. Yeah! Mama, even when I then make out time to go to the kitchen to make what I will eat for myself, the wife you found for me would come out from her bedroom and then come and drag that food with me. I see that is not enough, Mama. Hold on, let me show you something. Show me what? <laughs> let me show you. Just... Hey! I like, here, you will not understand. Mama, I want you to watch this. What do you want me to watch this nonsense now? Eh? Mama, yeah, observe. Mama, the be on phone. Watch it. Hey! I am sorry I have to show you this. But this nonsense, this that you refer to as nonsense, is what the wife you found for me watches from morning till night in the house. Hey! Hello, man. You said she was a good girl. Yeah. Mama, these are, these are the kind of women that are hungered of marriage but emptied hey. of commitment. This is the wife you said you found for me. I cannot believe I left if for such a wife. I begged you to let me marry Eve, but you insisted. You said over your dead body would Eve come into our home. A wife I found for myself, Mama. A good woman I found for myself. Hey, I'm a woman now. What's our daughter? Mami Bugom. I thought she's a good girl. Look at how I use my heart to scatter my own life. Eh? Sometimes you parents don't understand what hey! the children go through when we tell you to let us marry the people who want to marry. You saw everything a woman should be in Eve. But you choose a whore, a street girl over a good girl because she pretended to be what she's not. 
I go to the kitchen to make what I eat. Hi, Mbama. And I have a wife. There's nothing wrong with me <laughs> making what I eat, but when it becomes a lifestyle, that's the problem. No, no, and there's no, a woman no, in the no, house. No, 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 mbam, mbam, mbam. And I still leave the house every morning to look for what she will eat. When she needs money, she comes to me. Hi. Oh, I'm gonna Hi, Hi. God! God! Did you not hear that horn outside? Come on, will you go and open the gate for my daughter-in-law? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I missed you so much. Yes, kitty, my girl. Look at you, my pilot. Mm hmm. Mom. Yes, darling. You look good. Really? Mm hmm. Thank you very much. So you finally answered my call. Mom. Mm hmm. You know I would have loved to come earlier, right? Okay. But you know the nature of my job. I do. I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, you um, look good. Thank you, Mom. Mm. What about Dad? Okay, he's inside. Okay. Come, let's go. Oma! Oma! Yes, my queen. Okay, the thing is from the car. Yes, ma'am. Come, let's go, my darling. Mama Onye told me that she's attending tutorial classes online. Uh, which one is tutorial classes online? Mama, she told me that she's learning how to tie her tie and make makeovers. What is makeover? Mama, makeover is beautifying one's face. Okay, you mean makeup and yes. learning how to tie her tie? Exactly. Oh, all the money. Uh, but has she been learning it? Yes, very well. Yeah. You saw it now. That's what you watched on the phone now, where she's learning it. She's professionally learning how to make makeovers. How can you call that nonsense that I watch on your phone? Makeup. Mama, but that is what she watches from morning till night. Mbana. No, that is the makeup that we are talking about here. Hey! That's what she watches from morning till night. She like me. I will go out in the morning to go and look for what to use in feeding my family. I would leave the house every morning to come back at night, all to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. And the wife I left, all she does is to watch pornography. Mm -hmm. Mama, that is the wife you found for me. That is the wife you swore that is the person I needed. My son, eh? hey, don't, don't, don't take it that way. I never knew that this guy is like this, so. Eh? Nonsense in your house. Okay, how about uh, uh, the other side of it? Do you people normally meet? Huh? Huh? Where did you, Mama, ask you? You are asking if we are not doing the other one. Mama, let me tell you what is happening in my house. Mama, I would beg and beg and beg. Mama, she will tell me that she's not in the mood. Mama, she will tell me she doesn't like sex. Mama, she will tell me that sex is not her thing. Hi! While she's, she's engaged in the apex of demonic affair, both sex meeting each other. You mean you have to beg this girl to enjoy what you have already paid for? Eh? I should be asking you Hi! That. You can't ask me that question. That is why I am here. Mama, that is the simple way that you told me that is the best wife for me. Mama, that simple way is the reason you swore that you would take your life if I marry you. What did he do to you to have merited that standard that you took? 
I'm sorry, don't take it that way. You forgot so fast on the sacrifices Eve made on the altar of his family. I beg you dearly to let me marry the woman of my heart. But you said only oh, is the best for me. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Only I'm. Remember, you have ruined my home. Sorry. Remember, you have taken away my happiness from me. Hi! You know what? I will have to come to that city. I have to talk senses into that girl. Eh? So now, Mama has come to city to talk to the wife she found for me. Whereas I presented a good woman that I want to spend my life with to you. Anytime I think of Eve, my heart is in pain. Hi! I don't know if I would ever forgive myself to death because of what this family did to me. It's alright. Since you said you will come to see you to talk to her. Please, I will advise you. Do it on my words. Come in, come in, my darling. <laughs> Welcome. The past hasn't really changed. Still looks the same. I know. Mom. Where is she? Oh, this. She is one of the palace maid. A palace maid. What is she doing here? I have told her over and over again not to enter this living room to see movies, but she wouldn't listen. You know how those peasants are? Give them a pool, and they would want to take two. Hey, get out. Get out! Are you there? She said, get out. Get out! You know your duty is right. Get to it. See? Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. But why do you allow these people here? They are maids. Take a bus straight to Princess Room. Yes, my queen. So, Mom, tell me, how is life generally? Very well, darling. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> look at you. You look beautiful. Thank you, Mom. My pilot. Thank you. Come, chicky, chicky. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me what can I get for you? Um, nothing. Oh, here's the brains. I haven't seen him. Oh, he's gone to the office. Really? Mm. He's got a book. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let me quickly call him. I know you'll be glad that I'm here. Oh, sure. He will be happy. I can feel it. <laughs> oh, goodness. I mean, uh, merely after the reconciliation, like, I felt like something left me. Like, I just feel like something left my body. Like, seriously? Yes. You know, I've been having this, this, um, uh? oh, I've been having this burden inside of me, like, before now. I've been having this burden, but immediately after I reconciled with my family, both the living and the dead, it disappeared. <laughs> I'm happy oh for you. Oh my God. Thank you so much, my brother. I mean, you made this happen. <laughs> I don't know what I would have done without you. You know, I had to do what I had to do to Thank unite you, you and, and your family back. Thank you. I mean, you brought, out, you brought back the existing peace between me and my family. Really? <laughs> <laughs> like, I watched how you you were talking to them, like, you were just speaking, talking and talking and talking, and you were listening. My family have not spoken to me in two years. I've been trying to talk to them in two years. They've not spoken to me, but you just came and... 
you're really, you're really, really, really blessed to be here. <laughs> so you think <laughs> making peace is my calling? I know, I don't think. Okay. <laughs> you know, your younger brother asked if I'm your husband. What? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what did you tell him? What would you have me say? The answer was yes, no. Yes. Yes. Why? Why, why? 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 Yes. Are you why, my? Are you why my husband? Not. <laughs> are you my husband? Yes, is yes. <laughs> I'm your husband, by the special grace of are God. You, are you? <laughs> <laughs> that boy is silly. He's uh, really not silly. silly. <laughs> what kind of question was that? He's not silly. I miss them so much. Yeah. I'm so happy. That's fine. Thank you. They're cool now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> You're really, really happy. And I like that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> See that smile. Huh? Oh my god. Emma, Emma, Emma needs you, no. What's that? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Emma needs you, no. You think I'm so dogusy at it? It's your tempo. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> good. Not ma. And correct yourself. I'm sorry, my princess. Better. And get out. You again. What are you doing in my husband's room? I thought I asked you to get yourself busy with something, right? So what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Get up. Get out. Excuse me. Stand up and get out! I am sorry to disappoint you, sweetheart. I am not leaving this room. Mm. You won't leave. <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are? To tell me that. Do you know me? Do you know me? I want to ask you a question. Okay. Just take a look at me. Just look at me very well. Do I look like a palace mate to you? If you're not a palace mate, then who are you? Figure it out yourself. That should be your little assignment. How dare you? Hey, how dare you? What do you have? What infantry? Okay, get out. Just a minute. I said you should get up and get out. Okay, I won't take this rubbish from anyone. Do you mean that Freda is in this palace? Yes, your majesty. She came in not quite long. You know, she came in when you were having your siesta. Where is she? Upstairs. She's having a bath and she will soon join us. Upstairs? Not even in the guest room? Oh, your majesty. She's in her husband's room. What husband? Why in Prince Abuche's room when you know he has a guest already? Now what guest are you talking about, Your Majesty? 
that kleptomaniac? Come on now, your majesty. Have I not told you over and over again, there is no way my son will marry that girl, never. Mom! Ingrid, just gently. Ada. Oh, greetings, your majesty. Freda, you are here already. Yes, Dad. How are you doing? Well, as you can see, I'm doing pretty well. Now, what's the matter? I heard voices upstairs. What's going on? <sighs> Mom, is not that me? Shh. Calm down. What is it? What exactly is she doing in my husband's bed? <sighs> Please, help me take her out so that I can undress and shower. Um, Your Majesty, I'm sorry for my manners earlier. Sorry. All right. Come, let's go. Achalogo. I'm coming, Your Majesty. Achalogo. I said I will soon be with you, Your Majesty. I'm coming. Let's go. Come on. What are these women up to? Baby! Sorry, who are you? Okay, Frida, the pilot. Oh, Frida. Mm -hmm. Hi. You're the pilot. Oh, okay. But where's my wife? Where's my wife? Your wife? Yes. Did you not meet someone in the room? That the palace maid and asked out. You asked who out? The palace maid. That's my wife. I do not understand. Your mom told me Zina is just a common maid. My mom told you that? Mm -hmm. Well, my mom was wrong. That's my wife. I don't understand. Zena is your wife. Yes. The prince, I'm Frida. I'm supposed to be your wife, not that thing. No, Zena is my wife. But oh, wait. You promised to come to Lagos to see me. All of a sudden, you changed your mind. Why? Okay. Because of that thing? Well, I changed my mind. I don't owe you an explanation as to why I changed my mind. <sighs> Sorry, have you seen her around? Zina, where is she? She left. Okay, thank you. And where are you going to? to search for my wife. Mom, how could you bring me all the way here to lie to me? The prince is married. Says who? Says the prince himself. I beg your pardon. My son is not married. He's available. Still single and searching. Then who is Zina? You told me yourself she's just a palace mate. Forgive me for that little lie. I mean, I never wanted my son to end up with such a girl. I keep telling my son, but he wouldn't listen. Even when it's obvious that the girl is suffering from kleptomania. She's a klepto? You know what that means? Of course. It's a mental disease that has to do with stealing. Exactly. That was what Dr. Morris said. And I googled it. 
But why is the prince bent on marrying such a girl? I mean, a kleptomaniac. Since he's fully aware that this disease has no cure. I'm telling you. I'm a mother. I mean, I can't sit and watch my only son end or bring such disgrace to this family. No. Okay, so what measure does she use to calm this disorder when the urge comes? Well, according to Dr. Morris, he said um, she has to inhale and hold her breath for a very long time till it becomes painful. That's the only way she can, you know, suppress the urge. Hmm. Yes, it's called psychotherapy. But then, have she been on this therapy of late? Well, I think so, but my major concern is um, when this person takes in or becomes a nursing mother, how will she cope? <sighs> this is bad. Very, very bad. So, my prince, what actually happened? To be honest, I have no idea. But I remember my mother invited Frida to the palace. Frida is a daughter to Chief Engineer Rochester. The pilot? Yes, ma'am. The pilot. And what about her? My mother wants me to marry her, but I am not interested. I told them that already. Ever since Zena came back from the palace, she locked herself in and refused to ever go back to the palace. Zena, please, can you come out? Can we at least dialogue and talk about this? Please. Can we just... Can we talk about this, please? I promise to make everything right. She locked up herself in her room and refused coming back. Out, eating, and swore never to get back to the palace. Zina, I know you can hear me. Listen, I apologize for everything, but please, just come out. I promise to send Frida out of the palace. I promise to do that, if that's going to make you happy. Please. The Queen Mother told Frida that Zena is a palace maid. What? My mother said that to her? Yes. What nonsense. I have to put an end to this. No, 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 my prince! Please, please, I beg you, you don't have to. Don't go comforting her because of me. Remember, she's your mother. But someone has to end all of this. I know. I know that someone has to end all of this. But please, if you love me, you have to respect my decision. She's your mother and then I know she means well for you. That's why she's doing all of this. Please. Zina. I'm old enough to make decisions for myself. My mother needs to understand that you are my choice. And there's nothing anyone can do about it. However, I apologize for everything. And you don't need to apologize, okay? I understand everything. I love you, Zina. I love you too. And it is you, or no other woman. I know. My mother needs to know that. 
Now go in and get your bags. Let's go home. Right, Henry. Mm. Thank you, my prince, for loving her unconditionally. Thank you. I had a friend way back that suffered the same mental disorder. She couldn't stop stealing. She couldn't. She kept on stealing and stealing and stealing. Was it as serious? Mm. One faithful day, or should I say one faithless day, she was lynched to death by an angry mob for stealing an ordinary phone charger. Are you serious? <sighs> so sorry about that. That was when I learned about the mental disorder called kleptomania. We all never knew Emanuela was suffering from a mental disease and she was labelled a thief. <sighs> Manuela, a final year undergraduate of civil law. What? Wow. Mom, first thing tomorrow, I'm leaving to Lagos. No. Not so fast. Mom, I have to. I wish Prince Madabuchi and Zina well. Mom, I want you to show them love. Give them your unwavering blessing and support. Zina is a victim of circumstance. What she's suffering from is not her making. I want you to marry my son. Mom, I can't. I'm very sorry. Prince Manabuchi and Zina have a life together. And I need to go out there to get mine. I'm sorry, Mom. The God ordained. I can't. <sighs> Just have to move on. You know what? Let's just do this thing and get off with it. I need to go and prepare something for my husband before he gets back. You know, I just don't have Oscar's trouble this time around. He has turned to a nag of late. Seriously. Really? So the Queen of England wants to cook today. Wonderful. What's that supposed to mean? Do you cook? No, answer me. Do you cook? He comes back from work and enters the kitchen to cook for himself. Please, spare me the shit. And where did you start getting into my marital affairs? Stella. I don't understand. Are we not partner? Now listen. If you want us to continue with this whole thing, with this affair, then you have to stay off my marriage. Whatever thing that happened in this house should be my business and my business alone. Did you hear me? 
Please, I don't have time for that. Do you hear that? Someone is knocking. That yeah. should be Oscar. But he doesn't usually come back home by this time. So, why, why is, why is he not knocking? Who is there? I did. I guess you should go and check. Who is there? house. Eba. No, Mama, that's not what I mean. Eh. Hmm. What is smelling here? Chili Kelly. Smell. Yeah? What is smelling here? Oh, yeah. Have you been smoking? Smoking. Ha. Mama, no. I don't smoke. Oh. Ah. Who is she? Um, welcome. She's my cousin sister. Stella. Oh, welcome. Uh -huh. Yes, Mama. So, She's your lesbian partner, Abby. Your cousin. Is she for me? Is she for me? You are a liar. Look at your eyes. What of you are here? Swatting off your brain. What is wrong with you? Didn't know that I'm, I was mocking. Up here. Okay. No, Mama. Mary, Mary. Shut up, my friend. Shut your mouth. Eh. So if I call on you, if I feel anything. Taylor, if. If, oh, ah, ah. Oh. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Welcome. Sorry. You're lost in your thoughts. And you're smiling to yourself. What is it? Nothing. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes, I'm okay. <laughs> really, I'm fine. Ah, ah. It isn't my clutch you're sorry. Ah, if. But you told me to come pick it up yesterday. I know. Don't worry, it will be ready soon. When can it be ready? Eh? When you are lost in your thoughts. This is smiling to yourself. It's a man. Hmm? It's a man, I know! No, no, no. Not really, customer. Um, the thing is, I travel to the village. Huh. Yes, that's why your clothes is not ready. Hope no problem. No, no, no. It's, it's for good. But don't worry. Your clothes will be ready tomorrow, unfailingly, and I'll send it across to you. Taylor, let your tomorrow be your tomorrow. I, I don't want to hear any stories. <laughs> you won't hear. You won't hear stories. Thank you. Smiling, Taylor. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. <laughs> hey. Hello, sweetheart. Welcome. Thank you. Your face looks brighter today. What was the secret? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's all thanks to you. I mean, you made it happen. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Uninechi. You don't mind though. So you were here smoking in, in, in your own husband's house. In my son's. Let my son come back first. I'm going to come up with Let him come back. Mama, why do you want to destroy my marriage? Which marriage? The same marriage that I, I fixed you in at the first place. Mama, I am aware. Uh -huh. I am aware you made me to marry your son. But why do you want to destroy my marriage over a male allegation? It's a male allegation. 
that I caught you smoking with your lesbian partner in my own son's house. Eh? Okay. Mm. Mama, mm -hmm. what lesbian partner are you talking about? Did you see Stella and I naked? Or did you see us doing hey. anything on bed? Whoa. So I'm lying, Abby. No, I'm a liar. Okay, now. So why is this whole room smelling cigarettes? Answer me. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. So, how can a girl that was married from the village, hey, be, be smoking in her own husband's house? If you like Hey! Mama, why are you accusing me unnecessarily? I've told you that I'm not a lesbian and I do not smoke. Mm. You are not a lesbian and you do not smoke. That means there was a man in this house. Am I lying? No, answer me now. You are not a lesbian. You, are, you didn't smoke. There was a man here. Mama, why are you doing this? <laughs> so, have you had something to eat? Um, no, I haven't. I wanted to finish up with this because I actually told her to come and get it yesterday, but I couldn't meet her, so... Walker. I told her I'll get it over to her tomorrow. Walker, holy. <laughs> you mean the woman that just left? Yes, the lady that just left. Not too much. Actually, I got you um I got you lunch. <laughs> That's so thankful of you, thank you. You're welcome. But I'll have to keep it here. No, you you have to eat it now before you proceed. Look, you're inviting us, sir. I, I know what I'm saying, it might be funny to you. But when the Elsa comes, all the, those women you, you, you've been making dresses for, they will not look after you. I know what I'm saying. I know, but I just have to finish up with this and... Stop talking and eat, please. Okay. Please. <laughs> you know, I, I actually got it when I'm on the way while coming. So I want you to have a taste of your food. <laughs> So you bought two plates, one for me and one for you, right? Uh, no, it's all for you. How can I eat two plates of food even if I'm a gluten? Eight and stop talking, <laughs> alright? I'm so scared. Quite light. Mm, I couldn't see to yourself. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hi. Um, sweetheart. You know, I, I would rather share one lifetime with you than face all the edges of this world alone. You know, they say love is just a word until someone special comes to give it a meaning. You are so natural. So in attractive. You are attractive. You're, you're beautiful and presentable. Look, it's not as though I've I've got enough money or no material things to offer you, but I'll promise you the greatest gift of all, which is my love. Look. I want you. I want you to be my queen, my pericardial cavity, <laughs> my endocardium, the only queen existing in my kingdom. Please. I want you to be the mother of my kids. Marry me and make me the happiest man on earth. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, I marry. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> oh, thank you so much.
Hey. Hey, Zina. <laughs> Zina. Hey. hey. What is it? My chest. My chest. My chest. So, um, do I need to get you some water or something? Huh? Do you need to drink <laughs> some water? How long will I continue like this? I'm tired. I'm tired already. I can't do this anymore. I can't. Listen, I know, I know how you feel, all right? I know what goes through your mind. You feel I'm going to end up with another woman. No, I won't. We're in this together. I promise to protect you. And in no time, you're going to be fine, okay? Thank you so much, thank you. It's okay, it's all right. Listen, I have a lot to tell you. Just come with me. Let's go upstairs. What is it? Conversations about marriage. Marriage? Yes. It's time. You need to meet with the Council of Elders. No. Hey, trust me. Everything is fine. Just come with me. Are you sure about this? Hey. It's all right. Let's go. More to this kind of wife. He's not mine. Where did you see it? How can you say this is not yours? This house is just you and I that live in it. So who would have brought this into this house? I don't know. But where did you see it? Oh God. I should have known this. When Mama told me that she saw you with your lesbian friend smoking your heads off. I should have known that these things were up! Baby, please don't even go there. Did Mama catch me smoking with anybody? You are unbelieving. Ah, oh, God. Imagine the woman I, I left Eve for. I should have known I married a lesbian and a chain smoker. Is this how my life is going to end? Baby, please. I can take anything from you. But certainly, I cannot take your mother is noticing that I'm a lesbian. What do you mean by that? Of course you are. How am I a lesbian? Do lesbians get married? Do they even do they have any need of men? Oh my god. Hey, I am finished. Are you just accusing me of just? I am finished. Is this how my life is going to end? How come? Why? Mama? Is this what you call a village woman? Is this a wife, Mama? I should have known this that from the very get go, the first time I saw it, I knew there's something about you. There is something about you. There is nothing decent about the woman you are. God, you know what? You see, this minute that I'm talking to you, this marriage is over. Ha, huh, you lie. Sorry for the words. You don't even go there. Don't go there. Please. I... We die in this marriage. I am not going anywhere. I, I don't want to do anything that I would regret. I want you to leave this house this minute. This marriage is Master, over. Master, you lie. It is not over. We die in this marriage. I am not going anywhere. I do not want to leave my house. I am you. not going anywhere. I want you to leave my house this minute. Mm. Stop going. I, I don't want you. Don't, don't, don't just push me. Shh. Are you mad? Jesus. Are you mad? Oscar. Leave this Oscar, house this me. minute. I have told you. Master, you are mad. This marriage. It's a quest. Now make you stop. It's a quest. You want. No provoke me. Go if you provoke me for you, I go, I go kill you. I go kill you for you, no, 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 in the Christ. In the mud, you want my king for you, no, 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 no. You said I'm the first person. I did pity you because I go just. Oscar, no provoke me. Oscar, no provoke me. <laughs> Not today. Oh, really? Are you just finding out? You're not just a lesbian. You are also a murderer. You are also a lesbian and a murderer. Oh my God. This is. This is insane. Stupid man. Mama, 
Mama, come and see the product you deliver to me. You have not seen anything Mama, yet. is this the kind of Oscar wife will die you wanted me to settle down with? Oscar, we die in this marriage. So you have killed before? Yes, I have killed before. Oh, you actually said I'm a village girl. <laughs> that is where you lie. That is where you got it all wrong. Because I am not a village girl. I went to the village to hide. After killing that fool, call him. What was his name? Tony. After killing him with scissors, I had to go to the village to hide. Jesus. Do not mess up with me because if you Jesus. try it, I will show you the other side of me. You killed Tony, my friend. Mm. It was you that killed Tony and you compelled me to go to jail for a crime I didn't commit. You, you, you know what? You are not living this house. I am not in this house and I'm calling the police on you. Now you don't feel. You are not going anywhere. You are not feeling. You are not living this house. you try me for this house, I will kill you. Where is my phone? If you try me, I will kill you. The police. You are not living this house. Are we going to wait for those love birds ah. till eternity? Ah, patience, your majesty. It's their time. I don't have that. Relax, they will soon be here. The cabinets are waiting. I know. Oh no, who just called? I understand. Let me call him. Madam! <laughs> My Sorry, goodness. Dad. Sorry, I kept you waiting. Oh, that's fine. Good Sorry. You. Ah, how does she look? Beautiful. Yes. Look? Yes. Good. Thank you, Mom. I look good? Yes. All right. You look like a friend. Thank you, Mom. Shall we? Yes, we let's shall. go. All right. Let's go. Whoa. Yes, Thank you. Yes, I know. Uh -huh. okay. You're closing. Let me help you close up the shop. I mean, I, I, I came back. I, I, I came back. What are you doing here? Can't you see? I mean, I, I, I came back for us. You and I. Can't you see? I mean, this is completely for the both of us. You came back. Let me help you close the shop. Stop it. Yes, I, I, I came back for the both of us. I thought you ended us. I swear it wasn't my fault. I never ended us. It was my mom that did that. She threatened to take her life if I end up marrying you. And you know these things. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Sorry. Oscar, you moved on with your village wife. That single decision nearly took my life. I gathered the pieces of my broken heart and I moved on as well. Hey, hey. That's a wedding ring you're wearing. You. You got married? Babe. Yes, I got married. That's my husband. That's. My husband. I mean, he picked me up 
when you jilted me and moved on with your village wife. I don't know what you're doing here. Hey, can you just listen to me? Oni was not actually the wife material she was supposed to be. See, do you know, Oni, Oni confessed that she was the one that stabbed Tony to death. The Tony you and I know. Oni was the one that killed Tony and she has been arrested by the police. What? Yes. Let's just tell me you're joking. Wait, wait. Your village wife killed Tony? Yes. As a matter of fact, she killed Tony and then ran to the village and acted like a village girl. She's not a village girl. She's a murderer. Wow. Anyways, um, as you can see, I'm closing my store and uh, leaving with my husband. Tomorrow we are moving to the state where he's based. So say be well to your mother and um, Oscar. Have a good life. Please, please don't do this. I beg you. Just give us a chance. I'm sorry about everything that happened. Please, just, stop, just stop, listen to me. Stop. Please, I beg you. Please, just give us a chance. Stop. Please, move now. Just give us a chance. Please, I beg you. My husband is here. Stop doing this thing now. Please, please, can you help me talk to? Please, talk to her for me, please. I swear to us, it's intentional. Please. please, just give me that chance, please. I can make this up to you. I stop and beg it. It's my mom's decision and not mine. Like, I, please, just give us a chance. I've had enough of this. All right, let's go. All right, please. Can you help me talk to her? Please, I beg you, please. Can you help me talk to her? Babe, I love you. I can't let go of you. Can't you see? Bro, please, can you help me talk to her? Don't, I'm sorry. Please, I beg you. Stay away from my woman. Listen, if I see you anywhere close to my woman again, I will skin you alive. It's a promise. No, I swear I love you, can you say? If you can leave me like this, if I leave you, I will shine. If I love you, can't you see how much I love you, man? You can't do this to me. Man! I love you! Beautiful sinner, I don't know. Beautiful.